Hi, uh, my name is Sanga. And I'm Adrian. Our project is applying latent theories layer allocation and biological data. So our motivation for our project is pancreatic cancer. Uh, it is a deadly disease. Uh, in 2013 alone, about 45,000 people were diagnosed with it, and 38,000 people died from it. Uh, the median survival time is about, after diagnosis, about three to six months. And the uh, five year survival rate is about less than 5%, which is uh, very low. It's because uh, it's hard to detect pancreatic cancer in early stage. Uh, our data set is a biomarker data set. Uh, it's, a, it's a gene product or protein that are found in blood or urine. Um, it's a promising, uh, promising uh, technique because people tend to use MRI CT scan to detect cancer, but it's expensive and time consuming, but uh, biomarkers are cheap. Two now we're going to talk about the framework that we're going to be working with. So <coughs> we're working with topic modeling. So a topic is a cluster of words that occur frequently together. So usually it's in the context of text documents. And topic modeling attempts to assign a topic to uh, groups of documents. Uh, and then what we use is uh, latent Dirichlet allocation. So LDA is a clustering algorithm that attempts to assign multiple topics to groups of documents. And then um, internally, LDA uses a bag of words uh, model. So the order of words doesn't matter inside the documents. Uh, and it represents documents as pairs of uh, words and word counts, just like uh, in the naive base classifier that we saw at the beginning of the class. OK, so LDA originally used text data. To, uh, so given a document, uh, there's a word inside a document. And the topic, for example, affordable words that related to car content tire, you know, car brand engine, or the famous F1 driver. Uh, so the LDA actually uh, learns the distribution of the topic and of the words given topic. So what we did is uh, transforming our uh, data so that LDA can be displayed. So basically, uh, document is now patient, a word is a protein biomarker, and the, uh, the count of word is biomarker measurement number, and the topic is a possible cancer pathway. So here are the results. We ran LDA, and we asked it to infer five topics from our set of biomarkers. And if you can see, there they are. Uh, they don't really make much sense in this form. Uh, but LDA also output uh, likelihood for each patient uh, exhibiting a particular topic. And so what we did is we went through and we marked each patient uh, that had a high likelihood for a particular topic. And as you can see, the first two topics do very little to differentiate cancer patients from control patients. Uh, the first one, uh, you're equally likely to have it if you're a cancer patient or a control patient. Uh, and that probably just corresponds to some biological process uh, that's naturally occurring. The second one, uh, there's only one patient in the control group that has uh, that topic. That's probably due to noise on the data. Um, so we ignore those. The last three, however, show a clear separation between cancer patient and non-cancer patients. Uh, and then upon further inspection, we look and see several of these biomarkers occurring in those groups are actually related to uh, cancer development. Uh, and an interesting thing to note is in the third topic, the first two biomarkers are actually related to pancreatic can uh, prostate cancer. Sorry. Uh, and then we looked in the literature and it's actually uh, found that prostate cancer leads to uh, metastasis in the, in the prostate, uh, sorry, in the pancreas. So it's interesting that LDA actually was able to infer something that it took humans years to study and uh, uh, realize for themselves. Uh, what we talked about was our, uh, we talked about cancer, pancreatic cancer, and using uh, biomarkers to try to detect it. Um, we also explained topic modeling and LDA. Then we uh, described how we transform a patient into a document so that LDA can look for topics uh, within the biomarkers, and then how those biomarkers can serve as, um, or the topics of biomarkers can serve as possible uh, cancer detection pathways. Thank you for your time.